Wait, I can see your face. Hey. Okay. Hi everybody, I'm Miss Haley. And this is Miss Veronica. And together we will be teaching a garden room. This year we decided to split our classrooms into two. So Miss Veronica will be teaching our caterpillars, which consist of our early twos, younger twos. And I will be teaching the butterflies, which consist of our older twos, so two and a half to early threes. The reason we did this split um, was because while your children were returning back from um, quarantine and that wonderful time we had, um, the state mandated that we have smaller class sizes, so that's exactly what we did. And we just found such great success with grouping the kids in this age range um, because we noticed that there is a difference between an early two and a two and a half year old, almost three year old. So we're just gonna continue that. Um, other than that, I think that's the only real change that we have made this year. We're doing the same curriculum, which is learning without tears. This curriculum is basically what it says. It's teaching your child their alphabet without tears. <laughs> so this is our handwriting book that we use and it's part of the curriculum. And as you can see, there's going to, the letter that we will start with is a letter L versus a letter A. Um, we don't teach in alphabetical order, we teach according to how the lines are produced in each letter. So as you can see at this age, um, we wanna shine a light on what they can and what they're capable of doing. And right now your child is able to produce a straight line over a curved or a diagonal line, which you would see in like the letter R or Q. So this is why we use this curriculum. We found great success with it. Um, you know, at Marley's we've used it for many years now and we're just gonna continue to because the kids are thriving with it. Um, what else am I missing? Oh, now we'll dive into our assessments. And here we have the garden room assessment. I know when we think of assessments, we kind of freak out and get nervous, um, even though we're not taking them. But assessments are just to kind of baseline to see where your child's at, how far they've come, because there's two a year. So we start off with one in the beginning of the year and then have one at the end and um, just gives us the general overview. It also provides feedback for us teachers, um, you know, and our abilities to, you know, create a better learning environment for your child, um, you know, using every tool that we can to make sure that they are learning and absorbing and obtaining everything that they need to learn. Um, it's okay if your child cannot identify everything on this assessment, it's totally normal. Um, the garden room is more about exposure to school, so being able to follow directions the first time, sitting on your bottoms during a 15 minute whole group, um, you know, the teacher. exactly, yeah. not banging your fork on your water bottle at lunch, yeah, you know, your friend, yes, waiting, waiting so for turn. <laughs> it's just exposure to school and getting along with others and, um, you know, just teaching them those little concepts. We're building that foundation for when they go to Miss Tracy and Miss Veronica's class, they're able to sit in that whole group and then start absorbing even even all the more. So on the assessment, your child will be identifying pictures for us, they'll be identi identifying colors, they'll be um, using those pre-writing skills and drawing lines and circles. Let's see. <clears throat> they'll be counting to the highest number they can count to, you, singing their ABCs, um, we'll see how their crayon grip is and how they're coloring if they're holding a hand on the paper, um, they'll be able to identify shapes for us. And like I said, and I'm gonna stress again and again, is if your child does not know the things on this assessment, it's okay. So what we're here for, it's with constant repetition and a whole lot of patience that we get there and just believing in them and teaching them to believe in themselves. Mm -hmm. um, for my older kiddos who are early threes and that are slowly transitioning into Miss Tracy's when the time is right, um, I, you know, if I see that they've mastered all the concepts on this assessment, I might pull them a month or two down the road and give them Miss Tracy's. It's relatively the same. Um, the only thing difference is they have a new subject called Map Man, a topic about it, and um, we'll be incorporating that. So when we get there, I'll give you guys more information on that. But yeah, so we'll have those assessments ready. <laughs> um, next, we'll go into our schedule. Okay, sure, sure. All right, so we start off with whole group, and it's whole group about music, and so that's a really fun time for the kids. We have two music teachers, Miss Kayla and Miss Vanessa, and they bring in their instruments. They teach them music theory and curriculum. The kids adore them. Yeah, they love it. They love them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they like singing with them, uh, listening to Miss Vanessa's voice. Love it. She has 
<laughs> and nice boys. Um, mm -hmm. They teach them uh, instruments, like uh, si sometimes they have singing classes too, mm -hmm. and they dance and jump, and they have a lot of fun with them. Yeah, and the things that they're learning is incredible. They'll come in singing songs, and they're like, what does that mean? <laughs> Crescendo, you know, or yeah, whatever. Yeah. But um, So after music, we have our small group, and this is the time where we work on um, just having more of that one-on-one -on -one interaction or intimacy with the child of, you know, working on their fine motor skills, which will be done through our, you know, lacing keys. So they have a key ring, and they have to put the key hole through the key and then lace it on there. We also have another activity that's kind of the same. It's beads and, or sorry, lace and shapes. Uh -huh. Laces and shapes. So the beads and laces. So this is able to identify their, we're able to identify their shapes, work on their colors, as well as, um, <laughs> hi, <laughs> work on their shapes and their colors, and then also work on their fine motor abilities and their hand-eye coordination. <laughs> Um, another activity we have is our ice creams. They're able to have the cone and there's a number on there. So if there's a number seven, they put that many seven scoops on there. And they're able to identify working on their one-to-one -one correspondence um, as well as their colors. So we have various activities for the small groups. I don't know if you want to add anything yeah. else. Um, well, we do the, almost the same thing as Miss Haley's class. But um, as I said, on uh, small groups, we... Um, just focus on the uh, kids uh, listening to the teacher, mm -hmm. like sitting down crisscross apple sauce, like uh, respecting others' spaces, like sharing, one. saying please and thank you. <laughs> like um, we take them party train, like in small groups, sometimes we take them because they're washing their hands constantly, mm -hmm. like every 15 minutes they wash hands. Um, they're learning the proper hand washing. Mm -hmm. um, because the, uh, we want, what we want is that your kids be safe. Mm -hmm. And also we do a lot of activities, like um, we do this, they do the dots with this ones, that we trace the letters, we go uh, straight lines, long lines, then the short lines, and they love doing this. And also we have like um, beads, the mm -hmm. beads, and they start putting they like the beads those. all over there. <laughs> and also what um, I find out that they like is like, uh, I use this uh, ice cream <laughs> sticks, and they can form the letters, the letter L, and they love how to do it. They can do the shapes too, and uh, they just enjoy doing that. Um, yeah. Also, um, what we want is like to build their um, social skills mm -hmm. and their communication skills. So we talk to them um, all the time, and mm -hmm. we do like a bunch of fun activities. <laughs> it's super important at this age that they're learning how to be socially aware and being able to interact and get along with their peers because we know that when they go to Miss Tracy's class, that's not gonna usually work if they wanna just take the toys from everyone. So I think with this age grouping, it's really helped because you know, as the early twos, we see more of that parallel play where they come and sit next to each other, but they're not really interacting yet. But I've seen with my older twos and early threes, they're finally interacting. They're saying, hey, can I come play with you? Hey, like." Um, can I borrow that toy? Or they're like, let's play together, let's do stuff. You know, like they're more inter um, interacting and it's yeah. it's just a really great yeah. thing to see. Yeah, and uh, don't worry about like the first days of school, like your kids crying. It's normal, <laughs> it's normal. Because totally normal. <laughs> they're adapting and they're uh, learning their routine, mm -hmm. but as long as they are safe here and they trust the teacher, they're gonna be okay. So don't worry about it. <laughs> yeah, and there's also okay. that six to eight week transition yeah. period too, so yeah. it'll be totally it okay. Takes time. <laughs> A lot of time, but it's good, it works. <laughs> Um, so next we go into our snack time and bathroom break. Like Miss Veronica mentioned, this is such an important and crucial thing for them. Um, just being able to sit down or sit at a table and have proper etiquette and have manners and just being respectful and mindful of others teaches them how to be socially aware. Um, as well as like just the whole bathroom concept of, in this class, some of your kids aren't potty trained and so we are working on potty training those kids with you. and. We want our, you know, we want our little ones, your little ones to flourish immensely. And we don't want them to be scared of the potty. We want it to make a fun and exciting experience. So, I mean, if they even go just a little bit, we're like jumping up and down, screaming, yay, so excited. You know, we're celebrating them because these are big things for them, even though they might be small things for us. And we want to build their confidence. We want them to believe in themselves. So, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you have anything else? Yeah, no. We, <laughs> as a teacher, we... Um, we work as a team, mm -hmm. and uh, we are very happy when we see them like, <laughs> going to the party and <laughs> going pee 
at the party. It's like very rewarding for yeah. us. Like, yeah. Sometimes it brings us to tears <laughs> because we're just like the hurdles or the you know the things that these children yeah. overcome on a day to day basis is great. You know, we- get so excited that all the teachers come here. I say, yay! Always. We went on the pot. They're like, what happened? And then we have to go tell the other teachers. So <laughs> I'm so excited. Um, so after that, we have our iPad time, which I didn't grab for you, but it's okay. Um, <laughs> we have iPad time, and I know a lot of parents um, are kind of skeptical of it. What we do, um, I'm going to just let you in. Matt and Amber have downloaded every app. Every app on there is educational. It's academic-based. So whether the child believes it or not, they are, you know, learning their ABCs. They are learning to count. They're learning one-to-one -one correspondence. They're learning matching. They're doing all different kinds of things. One app in particular that we love to use is Starfall. And also on the iPads, we have a good tendency to lock the iPad because our children like to cook out of it and go yeah. something else. And it's like, no, we want them to focus on this one thing right now, especially because it is... Um, more age appropriate and for their developmental uh, mindset and everything. Mm -hmm. um, so we use Starfall. Another thing that I've been using with my kiddos is Handwriting Without Tears. It's a lot like this book here. Um, and you know, they give you a letter, then they practice tracing the letter in front of you, and then the child has to do it, I think it's three times. Um, but they do that, and then I usually give them the reward of choosing any fun game that they want. Mm -hmm. Um, like I said, it's still educational. It's still they're still learning from it, absorbing. So yeah, all yeah. the videos are educational videos. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and the kids love like up to up iPad time. They love yeah, it. They I love mean, it. if you want them to do anything, just say, "Do you want your iPad?" and they will totally <laughs> will gladly do it. do it for you. Right? <laughs> Sit down on your bottom in the whole group. They're great. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so next we have our whole group. So your child, um, I don't think I mentioned this before, but your child is guaranteed two 30-minute small groups and then three 15-minute whole groups. Our whole groups is when we come together as a class. We sit down, we learn our calendar. So we're going to learn the month, the day, um, how to count the calendar, what day we're on, the days of the week. Mm -hmm. And we also go over our shapes and colors in that time. We also um, you know, introduce the letter of the week. We focus on that letter, but then we also sing our ABCs and we have a tendency to go over review letters just because we want to keep that fresh in their mind. Um, so we're doing, we're doing a lot in those whole groups. Yeah, it's a lot. Like, um, my kids, the little ones, like, um, uh, enjoy having circle time. I say circle time and they come and sit down, <laughs> sit down on the carpet and they have, they know they have, to, they have mm -hmm. to sit down, crisscross applesauce, and then we start with a with good morning song, which I do it in English and also in Spanish. They know how to sing it in Spanish already. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then um, we start doing the uh, calendar, the days of the week, we start like singing. Um, we also do the shapes, the colors in English and Spanish mm -hmm. too. One thing that they love is like the, the weather sound. Like we start singing the weather, what's the weather, what's the weather? <laughs> <laughs> and then they're so excited and then they know that they're gonna stand up and we go to the um, nearest window and then I open the blinds and they're waiting for the sign. <laughs> <laughs> so then they go back and sit down and then um, if they're sitting down crisscross, I'll pick one and then they can put the sign on the, on the board. Oh, I didn't um, know that. I think I'm gonna start doing that because that's actually fun for them. Thanks, they love like it. That. Yeah, and then um, we start singing the ABCs and also because they have like a short uh, attention span, <laughs> we go from passive and then to active. Like mm -hmm. we're sitting down and then I, all of the sign up, we have to stand up and mm -hmm. then move forward, chill us out, mm -hmm. <laughs> chill us out. Oh yeah. And yeah, because I cannot uh, let them like stay for 15 or 20 minutes there. Mm -hmm. So we start like dancing, um, doing silly things like getting on the floor, like stretching and all kind of stuff. And then we do our colors too in English and Spanish, mm -hmm. and uh, we do our shapes, which I say already. These little cards yes. here, yeah, very helpful. Um, mm -hmm. So we have those. Yeah, and also um, we read a book. We read a lot of stories. And we got like, lots of them. Yes, this is a personal favorite. If you don't have it, I recommend it. Howard <laughs> B. Wigglebottom learn to listen. Yeah, and then we end our circle time. We like the goodbye song mm -hmm. and. They know that after circle time, it's going to be snack time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> They're hungry and ready to go. Yeah. Yeah. And then um, we move into our free play period. And this is an important component of our day. Like one of the biggest, actually, because like we said, more, more than anything, this class is about exposure for your children. Um, 
learning how to share, interact with others. I mean, even us adults are still learning that, but we want your children to just be, or just excel in this area. Um, and so free play is a really great time for more of that freedom of expression, just kind of be themselves. But at the same time, we're still helping them problem solve. And more than half the time, we're letting them try it themselves because we want to see, you know, what they've been absorbing from what we've been practicing. So, um, you know, if a child's not sharing a toy, well, we'll go to the child and ask them, like, what should we do? You know, and we always ask them a question because we want to see their response and see if they are actually... Um, receiving or being receptive to everything that we are teaching them um, and if they don't know how to problem solve it then we'll ask them to you know ask us for help and then we usually um, guide them through the process and yeah. you know for the most part I think they're doing great yeah they're doing great and we have like a bunch of toys like uh, Miss Amber the director is like really great with that mm -hmm. the other day we went for a shopping spree <laughs> to Lakeshore and very spot like a bunch of toys for the kids and yeah. we love it. Look, we have kitchens, we have blocks, we have magnets, you name it. We have, we have everything. Miss <laughs> Amber and Mr. Matt are very generous and they love your kids more than anything so they're doing everything they can for yeah. them. Yeah. Um, so after our free play time we move into our small groups. So like I said there's um, two 30 minute small groups and this is another time where we just um, work on more of I guess the child's own personal goals where we do like whether it's fine motor abilities of coloring or tracing crafts scribbling. yeah yeah like um using both hands like holding the paper and then uh trying like manage the, the paper yeah. doesn't move and then <laughs> you are tracing with the other one so a lot of like good things for them yeah and also we do sensory mm -hmm. like we that's just, a fun one we just uh play though we just um miss veronica creates these little bins <laughs> for them that has like either like uh what is it beads or beans it, yeah, like, um mm -hmm. there's like strings there's rocks there's it's like a, she a does beans it's so cute <laughs> like for um, october for example we did a halloween uh sensory bean mm -hmm. and we have like everything like we have popcorn we have a scoop mm -hmm. like they can pour they're obsessed they have fun <laughs> with that yeah they always want ah, and they get like so it. excited and we just thank her so much because she's really great at doing oh. that <laughs> Um, another actually small group activity that we do is our signing time with Leah. So the kids are, like I said, they're just obsessed with so many things and it's great that they're actually like entertained by it and they want to learn it. Um, we try to make everything fun here because we know that, like we said, their attention spans are very short and little. So we want to just make it as interactive as possible. But signing time with Leah, you know, there's a moment where they get up and start dancing the song, yeah. um, but they are, you know, signing back to Leah when she's like, here, show me your sign. And they absolutely love it right now. I think I we're know. doing seasons, yeah. so it's perfect with, you know, when we're talking about our weather and our seasons. But, you know, I'm in our whole groups, we talk about our colors, and then we ask them how to sign this color, and more than half of them know how to do it. And it's just so amazing to see everything that they're, you know, um, storing up in their little minds, and it's, it's incredible. Yeah. Um, another thing we do is Professor Parrot. Yeah, we do Professor Parrot. We have this video. This is an educational video in Spanish, and here we learn the colors within the shapes um how to greet uh people and then um the name of um your mom your dad how to say mom dad the grandma mm -hmm. all those things we have here on professor parrot and we have like this our and puppets. they love the parrots they love the puppets like we have a big one and then small one and then we also use uh rock and learn which the uh, same thing uh we have the abcs the colors the seasons and um like uh, meal time, time for eat, everything in Spanish. And uh, it's in English and Spanish, but um, they learn a lot with this one. A lot. Yeah. And then we have like a bunch of like Spanish videos. <laughs> and I personally speak Spanish, so. <laughs> I know whenever we need help with something, we go to Miss Veronica and she's able to tell us. So it's really, it's really yeah. happy. It's just a blessing. Um, so after that, then we go into our outside time. And um, during our snack and outside times, Miss Veronica and I do combine. So um, there are days where we do combine when we have lower numbers, but when our numbers surpass a certain amount, um, we do separate and we go our, you know, we go our separate ways. But um, every single day, your children are coming together um, as a whole, and they're during their snack and outside time. Um, we found it more beneficial to be able to assist each other in that time, um, you know, whether it's pottying or just making sure the kids are okay and they're safe the whole time, you know, with an extra pair of eyes and hands, always a blessing. Um, and then during out outside time, this is a time for them again to just kind of express themselves just like they would in free play. 
Um, you know, we're talking, you know, it's little things like when they go and get a sip of water, it's about hydration, you know, if they're outside and it's really hot or, you know, we have the misters and they have so much fun cooling down with those and we have water play and we have a sand table, we have everything for them and they're just like, they run out there and they get so excited. Yeah. Also an outside time, they put in practice what they learn in in class. Mm -hmm. They put in practice over there, like cheering, like waiting for their room. Um, most of the kids like getting the tricycle and then they run to get the tricycle so mm-hmm. they, they know that they have to wait for their turn and cheer mm-hmm. and say please and thank you can i use it um we do gardening too like we mm-hmm. have <laughs> a huge success last, last um summer we plant tomatoes we plant lettuce we have a lot of vegetables and the kids enjoy doing that mm-hmm. and um anytime miss veronica comes out they always go garden garden because she'll get the little watering you know cans for them yeah. and they start going and it's so great because they like they're contributing to something too yeah. and they see that their hard work and everything that they put into it is actually producing something so that's just a great reward yeah. for them yeah and remember that when they are playing they are learning too <laughs> yes so i know that sometimes we think if they're playing what are they learning um even your teachers even like we're constantly thinking of like okay if they're doing something right here if we go over and see that they have like i don't know a parrot it's like well what can we do about the parrot like what color is it? What does it look like? You know, and it's engaging their senses. It's identifying colors. Is it small or big? You know, concepts. It's they're they're constantly learning at this age. Um, and you know, just like us, we're constantly learning and absorbing and um, just retaining everything. So that's I think all for our schedule. Um, after that, we have our lunchtime, um, and lunchtime is a very important time of the day more than half we talk about especially at snack and lunchtime how important it is to fuel our bodies and give them all the nutrients they need for the energy that they're gonna have to use throughout the day um a lot of them are always saying i'm so hungry i'm so hungry (laughs) constantly and like five times in one minute i'm like i understand you know but it's a snack you know we can't have too much because our our tummies will hurt um, so, you know, at lunchtime, we really teach them about pulling in their chair or sorry, pulling out their chair, pushing it in, mm-hmm. um, sitting there nicely, using their fourth the way it's supposed to, yeah. Yeah. you know, sometimes we have a music class during lunch, you know, it's okay. We're, we're slowly getting there. Um, yeah, respecting others' food too, yes. like no cherry, <laughs> no cherry, no taking but, from others. Uh-huh. Yeah. Waiting until everybody's done eating, like mm-hmm. they're re-